Mayor Bill Dalton knows a lot about public service. For four decades, the mayor has served his adopted city in one way or another. Born and raised in San Francisco, Mayor Dalton came to Garden Grove with his wife Sandy in 1967 and fell in love with his new town. That new relationship brought a desire to keep the city safe and so Bill Dalton became police officer Bill Dalton. I wanted to be a great place for my family to live and everybody else's family too. Officer Bill Dalton received the Medal of Valor for his actions during a confrontation with an armed suspect. He worked patrol, SWAT, and internal affairs to name just a few assignments. Police Chief Kevin Rainey was just a rookie when he began his career in 1978. I would watch how he would interact with people. Uh, Bill could be uh, very direct and very stern, but at the same time caring. And uh, with his maturity and experience, and me being a 21-year-old uh, rookie officer, he was somebody I looked up to, to really learn how to do the art of police work. Lieutenant Bill Dalton hung up his guns after 26 years on the force. The steps of City Hall were the next stop after working the streets of Garden Grove. By now, his five children were grown, some with families of their own. He easily won a four-year term to the City Council in 1998 and again in 2002. During this period, the city boomed with new hotels, restaurants, and the International West Resort area. Even as the good times rolled, Dalton made sure residents could talk to him. Bill is who he is, he's genuine. He wanted people to know that I'm accessible, I'm not hidden behind a door, and if you've got problems, you come see me, you call me, and I will meet with you. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of the United States. And the Councilman Dalton became Mayor Dalton in 2004. He began presiding over a city that was rebuilding with new homes and new opportunities. Three, two, one. In January of 2006, Mayor Dalton and council members cut the ribbon on the city's new 16,000 square foot sports and recreation center. We're going to hustle, we're going to go after the ball, we're going to push the ball, okay? With an emphasis on youth activity, the complex will provide young athletes a great place to play for many years to come. Actually, what's good for you is good for us. The mayor has always known that the success of any city is business. He reached out to them, visiting as many as he could. Everybody talks about it. Everybody says small businesses are the backbone of the community, backbone of the country, and that's true. But not often do people realize that you have to go out, you have to meet with the people to find out the real problems. If you wait for that phone call, it's not going to come. On behalf of the city of Garden Grove, I'd like to thank Toyota of Garden Grove. The mayor began his Garden Grove Salutes program, allowing the city to recognize businesses that were doing great things in the community. We're here today to lend our support, to share information, and to welcome newcomers. His mayor's business breakfast brought business owners and operators together to talk about things important to them. The Bossy family owns several 7-Eleven stores in Garden Grove. Navdeep Bossy says Mayor Dalton has earned the trust of the business community. We're wishing he may stay in there, maybe come in as a councilman, because I think city needs people like uh, Bill Dalton. And when the businesses didn't come to Bill, Bill went to the businesses like Earth Friendly Products, a growing company poised to grow even more now that America is finding out how important green industries really are. Earth Friendly Products makes eco-friendly cleansers and detergents. The mayor has been so hospitable and warm. When he came to our offices and he sat down with us, he took the time to really get to learn what our business is, what the needs of our business are, and that's very important. I think he does have a connection because if you go into any of the business circles and uh, you mention the mayor, they would automatically remember his name or recognize the mayor as Mayor Dalton. So the mayor has earned praise from the business community, but he also has respect of Garden Grove's people. He was resoundingly elected three more times, once running unopposed. Everything was going great, and suddenly the music stopped. The economy was one of the biggest stories of 2008. Home foreclosures and unemployment touched communities across the nation. The Great Recession of 2008 and its huge impact on the housing market forced Garden Grove and every other city, county, and school district into a new grim reality. I think having survived 
probably the worst economic conditions that uh, Garden Grove has seen in a long, long time. And the fact that the organization stayed strong and we were able to deliver the services to our residents and businesses, and Bill made that a priority. He did not want to see the quality of service here in Garden Grove decline. He did not want to see the organization decline. And it was really hard to, to balance that. That was not easy. He also was a great steward of the city during the downtime, where it took tough decisions to buckle down and make sure the city made it through these times and survive. And so I think he, he shined uh, both in the good times and the bad. Whether he fought crime on the streets or fought to keep city services running, the mayor held the line. In fact, the bad times didn't stop Bill Dalton. At the height of the recession, the Buena Clinton Family Resource Center was dedicated. The city opened its parking lot, the skate spot, and just this summer, turned the wheel on a brand new splash pad at Atlanta's Play Center. And in an effort to keep city residents fit and healthy, Bill Dalton helped bring exercise equipment to Civic Center Park, Magnolia Park, and the Buena Clinton neighborhood. The mayor will be the first one to tell you he didn't do it alone. I'd rather look at things and say, you know what, I as part of a council, we as a council accomplish these things. But the mayor is most proud of the infrastructure improvements he supported during his tenure. The city's roadways, water and sewage systems aren't sexy, but the residents need these services. Without them, life in a city just wouldn't be possible. Last year, the year before, it seemed like every weekend in Los Angeles, a water main was breaking. But that hasn't happened in Garden Grove. One thing the mayor managed to accomplish on his own was to set a new standard for making local appearances. Two, one, go! You just never knew what the mayor would be doing on any given day or where he'd be going. Life isn't always easy for the mayor of Garden Grove. Jose <laughs> Sanchez has been around for what, 27 years or something, almost as old as I am. Oh, funny, okay. And if the mayor's leadership style didn't keep Bill busy enough, there's his involvement with the Elks, the Lions Club, and St. Columban Church. Sister Breed O'Shea even bestowed upon the mayor the title of Honorary Irishman. A couple of years ago, I started a Montessori preschool. So he helped push the red tape and the paperwork through for me to get that started. And it is now a wonderful success. So I'm not sure if I could have got that done or accomplished that without the help of Mayor Dalton. And while some may not see eye to eye with the mayor on a particular issue, everyone agrees that he loves the city he has called home for 45 years. He loves his family, his friends, and his community. He leaves the city with a record of achievement that ranks him among the very best of Garden Grove citizen leaders. Mayor Dalton always stood up for what he believed to be the right thing to do. And there's no doubt he's the mayor. There's no doubt about that. Hometown pride really exemplifies Bill's attitude toward his role as mayor. In the last eight years as mayor, he's done a superb job really moving this city forward. I mean, some cities have stood still. I think we've progressed, and I think a lot of it is, is because of him. It was a great honor to work with Mayor Dalton, and not only to work with him professionally, but also to build a personal relationship with he and his family. The residents should remember that while Mayor Bill Dalton served on the council, many things happened. He has been a wonderful leader, wonderful role model as a parent, spouse, grandparent, great-grandparent. An elected official, not a politician. He's a wonderful human being. Well, I don't know what to say to him. I'm not going to kiss him or anything, but you know, uh, you know, he's been a good guy. <laughs>